Okay, welcome back to another vlog. So, uh, if you're ever thinking about having a barbecue in Japan, so if you're coming from the States, um, you get the, the charcoal that um, already has lighter fluid on it. So you just have to, you know, just throw a match on it and it lights up. But Japanese charcoal doesn't have it. It's just regular charcoal. So uh, there, there are various methods. Uh, and if you're not prepared and you go have a barbecue, just with this and some matches, and maybe newspaper, uh, it's gonna be tough to start. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Um, I recommend getting one of these chimneys here, and then getting this uh, this starter. It's like starter fluid, starter little uh, things, you know. Uh, just this, you just have to light it, and then it'll just light right up, and then start these boys up. Okay, so uh, yeah, when I tried my first barbecue it was um, at the beach and I just had these and some matches and uh, and that newspaper and uh, man it took forever and I had to borrow some other people's supplies because it just won't start so let me show you how I do oh yeah and then you need a drink this is a uh, whiskey and coke oh yeah that's good okay so I'll show you how I do it. Just get one of these things here. So if you don't have this, you could just put some newspaper or kindling. I just throw some of these on the bottom here. That's usually pretty good. And I like to do two if you because uh, the timing is important, right? You have enough charcoals ready, then you have to do another batch. It could take some time. So I just do two. And that way, uh, you have plenty of charcoal. And you can cook a lot of food at the same time. Okay, so there's step one. And I recommend uh, if you... If you put it, leave it on your bricks, it's gonna make a circle. So uh, I recommend doing it on dirt. Uh, luckily I have some dirt. Okay. So this is the charcoal. It just comes in little chunks like that. Okay. So airflow is important. You don't want to put too much then the air won't flow. But if you notice here, it's got these holes so the air flows through and up, then you'll get a nice, nice start. Some nice charcoal. Okay. So as you can see here, there's my little things there. Just start one, two. You guys can see that. Okay, well there's one there. Let's do this one. So yeah, if you don't have these, just use newspaper. Roll up, cut up the newspaper in small pieces. And hopefully that'll start it. Okay. 
so there you go so the wind goes through okay we'll come back in a few minutes and then I'll show you guys the update so as you can see there's the flames on the bottom so the chimney is doing its job nice and smoky So after these get going a little bit, then I'll add some more, top it off, and it usually takes about 10, 15 minutes, and then you'll be ready to add these to the barbecue and start grilling. Okay, as you can see, it's time to add some more. These are going really good. And then this new box, these are little bigger chunks. Throw these ones on top. Still going on the bottom. We'll add a little bit more there in a bit. I could probably squeeze one more in there. Okay. Okay, here's an update. Look at that. They're looking pretty good. So you want to wait till they get nice and white. Down there, those ones are ready. Okay, so we'll just wait another five minutes, about five minutes, then we'll dump them in there. Be back in a minute. Okay, guys, look at that. It's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um add these to the barbecue and let the preheat in there so you gotta wear a glove because this even though it's a little hot a little far it's still very hot so dump this in here uh, let's give this one a little bit more time arrange these so these little separators are cool I can move them over like that and cook indirect heat here that's what I'll be doing today Okay, I'll let these finish in here, give them a few more minutes. Okay, so today's menu, we got some pork roast loins. And it's gonna be the indirect heat, so I'll put them over here. So for seasoning, salt and pepper, a little bit of a cumin and coriander. Okay. And then we have some drumsticks, marinated in Cajun barbecue sauce. And these will also be off heat, because if yeah, you put them on here, that's just gonna burn, so. We'll put them over here.
later we'll throw some some smoke chips on there. So it's yeah, nice and white. That's how you wear your charcoals. Uh, we'll cover it. You want some airflow. We'll open it up a little bit. And the bottom's open halfway. And we'll watch this temperature rise. And there it is. So what's it going up? 100, which is 200 Fahrenheit. 250 300 and rising oh boy three forty three fifty Oh, it's cute, still going. 370, oh, <laughs> 380, oh boy. Okay, oh, 390. And can we get a four? 400. Okay, I think that's pretty hot, so let me close this a little bit. Okay, it's at 410. And still going up. Four, 420. Four, Third. Okay, it stopped at 4.30. And we'll come back in a little bit. I should get my stopwatch to keep the time. So it's probably been like a few minutes. Okay, we'll be back. Check it out. Okay, we're gonna do some smoke chips. This is apple. Apple smoke chips. I guess a foil. Some of your chips in the foil. Okay, spread them out. Right, then just fold it. Okay, now. Get your hand a toothpick and just poke a bunch of holes. And you can reuse to pick that chicken that's stuck in there. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and add that to the, to the flame. Okay, we'll just leave it like that. 
I let this bad boy smoke. Mm. Let's see if this thing rises back up. It's at three, about 340 degrees Fahrenheit or 170 Celsius. Now it's been about 10 minutes. Okay, we'll check back in a bit. Okay guys, I added those apple chips, the smoky chips. And you can see, nice and smoky. That's gonna give that chicken and pork some nice smoke flavor. So it's been about 13 minutes. Let me go ahead and, uh, well, I'll give it a couple more minutes to get that smoke. Then we'll turn over the chicken legs. You guys check it out, crazy smoke. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, those smoking chips were killer. All right, let's give these chickens a turn. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Alright guys, these I don't want to touch, not for, not for a while, okay, Let's see how fast we can get the temperature back up. Oh, it's going up slowly, okay, so we'll give that in probably another 10 minutes. Okay, you guys know if you have uh, girls in the family, you got to do the veggies. You got to do the vegetables, right? Okay. 
Yeah. Alright guys, so I got my veggies and chicken done. And these have just been sitting for about an hour. So let's give it a slice, see what it looks like. In the middle. Let's give it a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Eh? Mm. All right. Let's finish it off with a um, sear. All right, guys, I think they're done. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment, and um, bon appetit. Mwah. Thanks for watching. Bye.